the topic 4.3 that is heteroscedasticity. In a case when the variances for all data are not the same, we say that heteroscedasticity exists in the data. Alternatively, we say the random arrival and the random error are heteroscedastic. The characteristic of non-constant errors in variance is known as heteroscedasticity or autoregressive conditional heteroscedastic ash effect. Recall that multiple linear regression assumptions consist of the independence of variables correct specification, no linear dependence in independence of variables, no autocorrelation in model residuals, residuals homoscedasticity, and normality of residuals. In this topic, we want to focus on this issue. Residuals homoscedasticity is the variance of the residuals is constant. The variance of the residuals is constant and finite. There are two tests on checking heteroscedasticity in the residuals of regression model. The first one is the LBQ on squared residuals. Where the formula for the LBQ test is the same as given in topic 4.2. Just in this case, we use the test on square residuals. The hypothesis for the LBQ test to check on heteroscedasticity is as given here. The second one is the HLM test. Where the formula for the test is given by this equation. The selection of KMAX value for H test actually is the same as the Young Box Q test on procedural. Or if we use R code, we can set free for KMAX means that R will suggest the KMAX value for the data. The hypothesis for H test is as given here which is actually the same as Young Box Q test. It is quite hard to test heteroscedasticity using Microsoft Excel. That's why for this course, we will use our language. This is the R codes. Okay, starting here, this is the R codes for heteroscedasticity test. The first li two lines here okay, are for young box Q test and the third line here are for HLM test. Note that when we want to use HLM test in R, we need to use library fin T S. Let's look at example 4.3. In this example, we want to test either the residuals of multiple linear regression model. In example 4.1 is homoscedastic or heteroscedastic. There are two tests can be applied here. The first one is by using Young Box Q test. By taking lack of KMAX at 15, okay. or we also can take KMAX at okay, uh, KMAX at 
kelihatan okay, If we use um, Suggestion by uh, Hinman <coughs> okay. uh, The results of Young box Q test On squared residuals Is given here Not that the results here is by using R language. By doing hypothesis testing using p-value approach, we can see that the p-value here, okay, p-value, we can get the p-value from this test, okay, is 0 0.5463. And this value is greater than alpha when alpha in this case is 0 0.05 okay so, uh, since uh, alpha is not given we use standard alpha so in this case the decision is do not reject hash not okay do not reject hash not means that the conclusion is at 5% significance level the young box Q test on squared residuals indicates no presence of ash effect in the residuals of multiple linear regression model up to lag 15. This means that the residuals is homoscedastic. If we use Kmax uh, at 10, okay, make sure that we change uh, this lag 2. This it should be 10. The second test for heteroscedasticity is HLM test. By applying the test to the data of example 4.1, the results using R is given here. Note that lack of K max here is set by default. So means that we not mention about the value of lack of K max. So we set it by default. So we can see that the suggestion of lag here is the same as for the SEF test in topic 4.2. That is 12. Okay. By doing hypothesis testing on the residuals for heteroscedasticity test, the p value is 0. 0.7851 where this value is greater than alpha and alpha in this case is 0 0.05 since alpha is not given so we use standard alpha the decision uh, here is do not reject hash not do not reject hash not means that the conclusion is at 5% significance level the HLM test on squared residuals indicates no presence of H effect in the residuals of multiple linear regression model up to lag 12. This means that the residuals is homoscedastic. That's all for the topic of chapter 4. See you in the next video of chapter 5. Thank you.